So last week I did a quick flash review of a great new mod of the Pirates of the Caribbean table by M. Roche. Uh, I said it was an awesome table and that I was going to have to do a full playthrough and full tutorial on it. And that's what... the worst YouTuber I've ever heard of! But you have heard of me. But that's what we're going to do today. Right here, right now, on Digital Victory. So let's do this tutorial for Pirates of the Caribbean. Again, this is the M. Roche mod. Fantastic modification to the table. You can see the differences in the artwork if you're at all familiar with the original. As cool as they are, they still maintain fidelity to the original table. You know, all the mechanics of the table are the same. The rules don't change. All the targets are the same. It's purely cosmetic. So the object of the game is to light all four compass points here. Once you complete all four compass points here in red, you can start the wizard mode, and it's a two-stage wizard mode, and we'll get to that in a little while. In addition to a lot of the standard pinball elements, ramps, uh, bumpers, pop bumpers are kind of hidden back there, top rollovers, in lanes and out lanes, you got some great toys on this table. Uh, some of the best I've seen, and you got three of them on one table, it's really cool. You got the Tortuga and Port Royal. You see it's a compass there, but it spins around and you catch the ball in there and it spins around. You have the ship in the middle, which you got to blow up to sink. Um, kind of similar to Medieval Madness. And then you got the treasure chest here, which you can open up and there's a beating heart inside, like the second movie. And you can get multi-balls through each of those different toys. And again, we'll talk about that as we go. These two side lanes here, have treasures and you can kind of see the words treasure in there as you play through the game and the ball goes down those side lanes you'll collect treasures each time you do and at the end of the ball your bonus multiplier is multiplied times those treasures how do you increase the bonus multiplier well you have three rollovers up top like traditional pinball each time you go through all three and light up all three you'll increase the bonus multiplier now there's a capture hole in the top of that too called the pilot pilot part parsnip parlay parlay hole and you drop the ball into that and you can increase your bonus multiplier that way as well by one you can also increase the bonus multiplier by hitting the pop bumpers 20 times finally there's the liar's dice random award okay and it's right in the middle here and you shoot it up there and it curves into the liar's dice hole and he'll roll some dice and you'll get a random award one of the awards is to increase your bonus multiplier there are many other awards, and they're typical for these kind of random award holes in a pinball machine. Uh, different amounts of points, maybe an extra ball lights up, things like that. So let's talk about these uh, compass points here. Now, each of those points, you'll notice, has a green dot on each side of it. Those are the two tasks you need to do to light up that compass point. We'll start with the north one. The two tasks are sink ship and sword fight. It's probably the easiest of all the compass points. To sink a ship, you just gotta shoot it up the ship lane like that, enough to sink the ship. The other green dot is sword fight, and that is hit the pop bumpers 20 times. And it's kinda cool, the DMD work on this table is wonderful, by the way. And you'll see the guys fighting up there with the swords each time the ball gets up there, it starts rattling around, boom, boom, boom. You'll see the guys fighting on there, it's pretty cool. So, that's how you like the north one. The south pointer, the two tasks are Port Royal and All Pirates. Now, Port Royal is that compass point up top. Hit the ball up the ramp, and you'll see it start spinning. A little post will come up, and it'll trap the ball there, and it'll start spinning around with the ball. As it does, the DMD will show the walls of Port Royal getting destroyed, and that completes Port Royal. At that point, you can start your Tortuga multiball, which is very similar. And the cool thing about the Tortuga multiballs is you can get that going at any time. So the idea is to get it going just before you're about to sink a ship and pile it on top of that and stack them. The other tasks for that southern point is the All Pirates. Now the Pirates are represented by the little green stand-up targets around the table. And there's six of them. And they're all named for Pirates in the movie. It's kind of cool. Anyway, you hit all six of them to light them up. Once you light them up, you hit it up into the wires dice thing to complete it. 
Of course, you'll get your random Liar's Dice Award, too. That will light up your southern point. Now, the west compass point here, you'll notice the two tasks there are Jack the Monkey okay. and the Kraken. Okay, Jack the Monkey is right over here, and you shoot it up there, and you'll see it'll say J, and you, know, you complete the J, and then do it again for the A, and you complete all four of them to complete the Jack the Monkey. It's really easy to do. The other one is destroy the Kraken. Now, you remember I talked about the ship and how you can destroy the ship? Well, as soon as you destroy the ship, it automatically starts a two-ball multi-ball uh, where you fight the Kraken. Now, the Kraken can be defeated by shooting it up that same lane three times, at a minimum of three. Let me say that. Because while you're fighting the Kraken, and again, watch that DMD for some cool animations while you're doing it. While you're fighting the Kraken, you'll see his little energy bar going down. Each time you hit him, it's gonna go down a little further, a little further, a little further. If you do it quickly, three hits is enough to kill the Kraken. If you don't, if you end up getting off track and you're hitting the ball in the directions, you'll see his energy bar going back up. So stick with it, go right at him, you can kill him quick, and that's how you light up that left arrow. Now the final one is the east one, and the two tasks are Davy Jones and the Heart Super Jackpot. Davy Jones is a mode in which you have to uh, fight the legendary Davy Jones, which starts after you complete four battles against the ships and kill all the ships. If you kill all four ships, you automatically start the Davy Jones mode. The Davy Jones mode is a three ball multi-ball, all right? And you gotta shoot the ship to defeat him. And it's similar to the Kraken because he'll have a life bar again and you just continue to fight him and shoot him and try and get his life bar down before you lose those multi-balls. Once you sink him, you've completed that one and lit it up. The other one is the Heart Super Jackpot. That's the treasure chest there. Dead Men's Chest. And you'll see the letters Heart and you keep hitting it until you get all five letters lit up. Then the Heart Multi-Mode starts. You'll see all the major shots lit up for jackpots and you can hit those or you can hit it back into the chest again to get heart relit. Once you get heart relit, it lights up the super jackpot. If you light it up that second time, you hit it in there finally to finish it, then you've achieved the heart super jackpot and you've lit all four, which allows you to start your four wins multi-ball, the wizard mode. All right, so the four wins multi-ball wizard mode so you shoot it up into the middle to start your four wins multi-ball. You start on the first win. All right, one of these lanes will be flashing. You shoot it to freeze the jackpot score at the highest point that you can, and then they'll all light up, and you shoot them all to earn that jackpot for each one. Once you've completed them all, it all starts over again, and that's your second win. Okay, one will be flashing again. Hit it to freeze the jackpot score. They'll all light up. You hit them for the jackpots. Then the third wind begins. If you're able to make it through to the fourth wind, it opens up the Gauntlet of Pirates multi-ball. You shoot it into the disc up top to start your Gauntlet of Pirates multi-ball. You have to defeat all six pirates to do it. So when you do that, one of the pirates is gonna be lit. And what you can do is you can shoot the pirate and go on to the next one. Or you can hit it into the disc to increase the gauntlet points that you're gonna get. Again, kind of a cool risk-reward mechanic. Uh, at this point, though, I'm always just trying to complete it. Well, if I ever got to it, I would want to do it. I've never actually got to it. So, But that would be my tactic, is to just go straight forward and not try and increase the points. Uh, after you've completed the second pirate, a third one will be lit. Again, you can try and increase the points by going up into the gauntlet there, or you can go straight for the pirate. That's the idea of that. You complete all six pirates, and then you will have completed the wizard mode for the Pirates of the Caribbean table. Man, that, I never got to that point. I have gotten to the four wins, and that's when I met my uh, demise. <laughs> it's just a fantastic table, though, with incredible music, incredible graphics. Just a blast to play. I like it because it's not too hard. You know, to be honest with you, you can complete a lot of the modes. And, you know, I'm no pro, so I enjoy a table that's not too difficult. You get a free game at 20 million, and then the next free game is at 40 million. I'm a little more familiar with it now, so 50 million is gonna be my goal for the playthrough. All right, 50 million, let's do it.
start out by always trying to go for that Tortuga up there for that Point Royal. Uh, you, you can backhand it, it's not easy, but you can. Shooting it up that left lane increases your jackpot amount. Hey, opened up the chest. All right. So if I ever get the ball trapped on the left flipper, I'm going to start going for that chest. Uh, in the meantime, I'll continue to try and get the Port Royal there. There we go. All right, we completed that. But it started the Tortuga thing, the time to multi, or the time to... Uh, Ball catch. Time lock. No mercy mates. Sails destroyed. I'm not gonna try ah. I'm not gonna try and kill the ship yet. I'll try and get that multi-ball going first. Ah. Alright, here we go. Now I got ten seconds to shoot it back up there. Yes. Now it's gonna be a three ball multi-ball instead of two. I can get a four if I can do it one more time. Oh, oh no! That's all right. Another chest shot. That's good. By the way, if you're able to get that multi ball started, it's a very generous uh, ball save on the multi ball. You'll notice that when you lose one, you can get it right back in 10 or 12 seconds, man. One of the most generous ones I've seen. See what I mean? It's great. I'm trying to shoot it up into the ship. Failing miserably though. There we go. Ah, shoot. That was bad by me. Again, you can start that Tortuga mode all over again. Got three of the jacks lit up. I got one more for Jack. I've destroyed one ship. Working on my second. Liar's dice. So it gave me a jump start on the ship. Hey, let's go. Dang it. Got a little loose there. What the fuck? Why would this stop? You know, I should soft plunge it. If you soft plunge it, you can uh, bring it straight to the flipper. Safely. Alright, we're going for uh, Tortuga again. You notice it saved the pro uh, progress that I had made? Ah, oh, shoot. Yes. 
got at least a three ball multi ball going on with Tortuga. Ah, oh, didn't quite make it. Again, got a ball save going. Nice. Destroy the Kraken! Nice! Look at that music! Let's go! that going again. Look at that. Oh, I already made my 50 million. Wow, this is amazing. Wow, let's go. Back to the ship. Oh, dang it. whole points look at that Woo! <laughs> all right let's aim get a little lazy here all right two more shots to sink the ship and it's uh the third ship that i'm working on Line, really. <laughs> yes. Ooh. Dang it. Shoot again. Now I'm going to try and soft plunge this one. I should have been doing that. Ah, jeez. I watched it. Yes, I've sunk the Edinburgh Trader. Battle of the Kraken, let's go. One hit, two. The energy bar there. Dang it. Oh, I had a little ball save there, huh? Okay. I'll take it. Hey, what do we got? Extra ball, extra ball. Oh, jump start on the fourth ship. Cool, I've already destroyed its sails. Let's get that Tortuga multi ball going if we can before we go for the ship. Boring 
you guys to death here, sorry. Well, that's one. Now let's get that destroyed. Again, can't say enough about the work that M. Roche did on this artwork. I love it. I haven't decided if it's my favorite version of this table, but it's right up there. The Siggy mod is really good. And man, the biggest mod's great too. They're all terrific tables. Hey, okay, here we go. 10 seconds to shoot it up there. Another one will shoot out. 10 seconds to shoot that one up there. Look at that. All scores tripled. Hey, where's that other ball shooting now? Come on. No, I didn't do it. That's odd. wonder what I meant. Jeez. Again, though, you do have a generous save. Unbelievable. Hey, let's kill that ship. I wanted to do it during the multi-ball, but I botched it. No heart to light the jackpots. Did I ever get that? No, I didn't get the heart. Uh, oh, yeah, I did. Cool. Oh, no! Oh man, I had one more ship to go. Okay, I got one more ball left. Woo! All right, I got one more ship to go. To light Davy Jones' locker. And Jack the Monkey, I, I thought I did that one. Maybe it's lit up and it just looks like it isn't. Fifteen men on a dead man's chest. That would have destroyed the ship. If I don't hit it up there, I'm going to be mad. There we go. All right. Fight Davy Jones. Let's go. Again, you got to just shoot it up there again. To defeat him. I uh, lost one. That's all right. I got the ball safe. One. Two. Oh, jeez. I botched it. Can I still do it with the one ball, though? Let me. Oh, I got two. Good. Yes. Long way to go, but I can do this. There's one. Oh, I didn't do it. that mode but I didn't complete it. That sucks. I stink. So it sends me back one ship. Looks like I gotta destroy the ship again. To get to Davy Jones again. This is by far the greatest game I've ever played on this, though. Ah. Yes. Yes, let's go. Soon your 
ship will be mine. Let's go! One more, come on. Why is it not taking? There we go. Nice. Let's try this again. Oh, jeez. Looking at the DMD. It's alright, get a ball save. No worries. This is nuts! I have no idea what the hell's going on. Look at the bar just keeps going up though, man. It's so whew. It looks like it's still right now, I don't know why. haven't been able to finish that mode just like before god dang it oh no <laughs> holy crap 24 times bonus 18 million in bonus wow holy buckets that was draining that it was oh my gosh Hundred and forty eight million. Let's go. There you go, guys. Pirates of the Caribbean. The M. Roche mod, but all the versions are great. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you guys coming by. We'll see you on the next one.